Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, February 5th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat has eaten and has wandered around. And this morning we revisit a painting by Boucher from 1737, a beautiful painting. I must admit though that yesterday I said Jesus on the bottom of the painting, the baby Jesus, who's bathed sort of in light, very blonde, is playing with an angel, but when I read more, he's actually playing with the baby John the Baptist, which is kind of funny, because how does the baby John the Baptist get on the way down to Egypt? That must be a whole other part of the Bible we've never read. <laughs> so the angels are these little plump creatures floating around in the clouds, which I'm not the biggest fan of that kind of angel. They're so adorable. It doesn't ring true to me because the angels in the Bible always said, don't be afraid, first off, which meant they must have been rather terrifying. Toddlers with wings aren't fundamentally terrifying, but here they're sort of cascading down the clouds, which is beautiful. And Joseph is looking up as to protect. Meanwhile, Mary is reading, which I love. Today is our day of worship, Sunday, and we're looking at the Gospel of Matthew, and Jesus says wise things. He gives us two incredible images this morning. First, he says that we're salt, the salt of the earth. But if our saltiness is gone, we're just not any use. And also that we're the light of the world, and that our light should not be hid. I was thinking about salt. Sometimes I've had a meal, and I know you have too, where it was pretty good, but not great. And then I added some salt, and oh, the flavor just comes out. I think what Jesus is trying to get at is that the followers of Jesus bring out the goodness in others. We, Part of our calling is not just to do right ourselves, but to evoke the gifts and the fullness of other people, to bring out the image of God in others, to edify, to equip, to empower. We should be making others better people and fully human and fully the people that God calls us to be. That builds the kingdom of God. And then also, we're the light of the world. So it's interesting because Jesus says we should pray in secret and not show off. But on the other hand, we're supposed to show our good works. The things that we do that help the world, we shouldn't be ashamed of them. We should let them shine. Imagine what the world would look like if every human being worked hard to bring out the gifts of another human being. If that was our purpose, was to edify others, wouldn't we bring in the kingdom? Jesus knew what he was talking about. He gives us a profound call as church we need to get let go of ourselves and focus on evoking the best in others and then let it shine. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for this beautiful day. We ask that you would help us to bring out the best in the people we encounter and those we love and those we don't know well. Help us to be as you were, Jesus, someone who teaches others how to be true to themselves. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are dying, the hungry, those who are in pain, those who grieve. We ask you to bless those who are incarcerated or homeless, addicted or struggling with mental illness. We ask that you would blanket this earth with your grace and your peace. Awaken the human race to greater wisdom, patience and understanding. And give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you have given us. This we pray in the name of Jesus who came to earth so that we might be made fully human so that we might know our gifts. Amen. 
God bless you. Have a great day.